In her memoir Love, Pamela, Pamela Anderson is forthright about her sometimes violent upbringing and her turbulent marriage to Motley Crue rocker and sex tape partner Tommy Lee. The 55-year-old actress, who was born in Canada, also says that she once downed vodka, a bottle of pills, and let herself fall into a bathtub full of water because things had gotten so bad. This action might have cost Anderson her life. Anderson worked two jobs in 1995, producing Baywatch and Barbed Wire. She had only known Lee for four days when she got married to him. Anderson was dressed in a white bikini for the ceremony, which was held on a beach in Cancun, Mexico. Then a friend told her about ephedrine containing diet pills. According to Anderson's admission in the book, I liked how the pills kept me awake, and I could get a lot more done, but because of the side effects, I was losing weight quickly. At 105 pounds and 5'7", I resembled a bull-legged skeleton in a bathing suit. Even the smallest waves would knock me over in some of the Baywatch episodes that were shot at that time. The situation deteriorated to the point where the Baywatch producers started to change dialogue and scenes whenever they saw the heavily tattooed rock star approaching. On one occasion, Lee allegedly misbehaved on the Baywatch set by smashing cabinets in the makeup room and the makeup trailer with his car. He then threw Anderson into his car, driving off the set tires spinning, she claims. He dropped me off at the condo and continued on to an unknown location. Anderson unexpectedly skipped the next day's production. The actress was found unconscious on the floor when her driver arrived at her condo. I was forced out of the tub by the nausea from the hard alcohol. I puked everything, all over the stone floor before dozing off in a pool of reddish-orange vomit colored with Advil. It must have appeared ominous. Deepest I'd never felt and I'd been through a lot, she admits to feeling. When Lee and Anderson's younger brother Jerry, an extra on Baywatch, heard what had occurred, they hurried to the hospital. Tensions finally subsided. The doctor then revealed Anderson's pregnancy. She writes, all was forgiven and we fell into each other's arms in joyful tears. Sadly, the joy was short-lived because she miscarried a few weeks later. Anderson experienced other health concerns that year as well. She suffered an ovarian cyst rupture while filming barbed wire, while attempting a back roundhouse kick, while wearing stilettos and a corset. She was picked up and driven to the hospital by Lee, who was on the set. They eventually had two sons, Dylan, now 25, and Brandon, now 26, according to Anderson. The couple's frustration with the paparazzi, who followed and agitated them, was constant. She writes, The lawsuits kept piling up. Tommy dropped his cigarettes as Tommy and I were leaving a hotel. As I squatted to pick them up, a whistle from a photographer was heard. Tommy approached, spoke with him briefly, and then struck him in the back, breaking his jaw. For that one, another $25,000 is required. Dr. Weiner, a therapist hired by the court, made vain attempts to persuade the couple that the paparazzi were invisible. Lee rejected Anderson's offer to call her parents and ask them to come help. Then please F King help me. Anderson recalls yelling, Tommy, you have to mature. It's no longer just about you. She had never previously spoken to Lee in that manner. She was holding Dylan when he reacted. Anderson claims, grabbing the phone, twisting her arm, and tearing off one of her nails. She was allegedly thrown against a wall before he fled with Brandon. On 911, Anderson dialed. If there was a gun in the house, the police inquired when they arrived, according to Anderson. I naively told them yes. There was a Glock handgun in our bedpist. Tommy was immediately arrested despite being on probation. He was imprisoned. Our hell began. While Lee was incarcerated, the actress refused to speak to or see him. However, after his release things changed. We'd meet in secret, violating the restraining order. We would make out in the car outside my house after he would tap on my window. We couldn't help ourselves, even though I was under strict instructions from lawyers and therapists to avoid him. She writes, noting that ultimately they were unable to forgive one another. She acknowledges, we just weren't prepared to get through it all. The idea of the four of us being together forever was just a dream, but I loved seeing him with his boys. Years later, she learned that Lee had been using steroids at the time, which may have contributed to his sudden and violent outburst. Anderson claims that a relationship with Lee may have been the only time I was ever truly in love, despite the fact that she went on to have several other relationships and marriages, including one to Kid Rock. For not being able to maintain the most crucial relationship of our lives for the boys, Anderson writes. I blamed myself, and I blamed Tommy. We failed them.